All right, guys. Today we've got some Chinese LS3 action to uh, take a quick look at. I have no idea the manufacturer. It's probably the same manufacturer that makes it for a bunch of different uh, people. But I got these, and uh, the guy that sent it to me says, Hey, you know, Charlie, I'd like to do some uh, CNC work with this. Give me an idea what we can do with this. So, I'm completely uninspired today, so what I decided was, I actually was going to show you guys something else today, and it didn't really work out, and I was a little upset at myself. So, I grabbed these, and I said, okay, we'll take a look at what they are, completely stock, and then we'll do a, literally just a cleanup. I mean, if you take a look... Look at the size of that edge. Without any exaggeration, that edge has got to be 125 thousandths. Now, to me, it doesn't bother me. I mean, I love stuff like that because it just makes life so easy for me. Just go in there and there's plenty of material and just bring it to the size you need. But you and I both know there are plenty of guys that are buying something like this and popping it right on. Either they are afraid to hit it with a grinder or, you know, they're afraid they're going to, you know, they're going to screw it up or they don't care. <laughs> they, they literally don't care. It's like, oh, it's an LS3. It's an LS3. It's got huge airflow. Well, I am certainly not an LS3 expert. I've done... Uh, I've done a couple of them. I did a set of EQ LS3s that I really like, but I think they were, I think they were really just GM copies. I think uh, that's all they were. I actually did a set. We were going to go into a, a competition, which is kind of interesting. Um, my buddy set this up. It was for comp cams. Comp cams wanted to get into making heads, so they they told us what, what casting to use, what valve sizes, blah, blah, blah. And then there was a couple couple cylinder help head places that got into it. Well, I probably shouldn't, I shouldn't say who, 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 now hell. It was high velocity heads I went up against. I stomped them bad, but I think they got the contract. Eh, what are you going to do? I know the guys from HVH. They're, they're, they're good guys, but they didn't put in the effort that Charlie puts in. Okay, so <laughs> just because I'm a wise guy, I think I'm going to set up the flow sheet with our E7TE flows from yesterday. And you can compare what a gigantic LS3 port right out of the box. And, and I haven't CC'd these, but I think they're probably 260 cc's, right? With a 2.165 valve, which is a stock Stock LS3 size. I did, I did take it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I didn't feel like. Come on. You can see. What's that? I think you can see. Yeah, the valve job looks small on this for that size valve. See how it's just at the very top of that? So, sorry guys, my focus is giving me a hard time. But it didn't look bad on the valve itself. Alright, focus is really giving me a hard time. It doesn't look bad on the valve. You can see, you can see where I, I give it a two second lap in. And it was, you know, relatively concentric on on the head, which was which is nice to see. Usually, you know, you get a half boom thing. <laughs> Alright, just for S and G's, let's take a look at the E7 with a 1.94 valve verse an out-of-the-box LS3 Chinese copy. 32 verse 32.8. 64.6 to 61, 
93.5. Let me put the pluses and minuses in. Okay, you can see right in the meat of the curve where you really need it, the E7 beats it, which I think is just hysterical. By 0.35, the bigger valve and everything actually starts working, and we max out at 260.4 CFM. So that's one CFM per cc. Okay, not really a fantastic ratio. Take a look at uh, the exhaust. Let me put the pluses and minuses in. Okay, as far as the exhaust, right? It's a 1.6 exhaust on the E7TEs with a tiny exhaust port. And the LS3s have a 1.59 valve. That was stock. It just didn't, didn't have a back cut or anything on it, which is probably the way I would use it. It gets beat at every single lift point. Let's take a quick look at that exhaust port. Okay, the exhaust doesn't look bad, but you can see it does have a pretty heavy ridge going in from the radius, right? They got a decent they got a decent valve job on here. Not, not spectacular. But it does it does look like it's a radius in, and then they have that huge lip that's in the way. The port itself has actually got a pretty decent shape. Right? And the outside, to me, looks like, you know, GMD. I don't really think, uh, I don't think that's a much different than the GM design. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's just a GM copy. Okay, the stock short side radius looks pretty darn good, actually. It's nice and wide, no stupidity, just that big lip in the way. Port itself looks pretty good. It does have a little bit of a bulge for the spring perch. I have made the mistake of taking too much of that out on a regular GM. Well, you're gonna you're gonna ruin the casting if you do that. All right, the casting itself is really not bad. It does have another bump on the floor for the rocker stud, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Okay, it really doesn't look bad. In fact, the whole casting really doesn't look bad. I mean, I've seen I've seen worse looking castings. As far as you know, the stock chamber, it doesn't look bad, just that they have this horrendous edge that really needs to be worked on. And it's around both the intake and exhaust. All right. Now, when I say a quickie cleanup, I mean quickie cleanup, right? Took the bulge down a little bit on the floor. Not much. Uh, I didn't even touch the other bulge because that really isn't going to do anything. Short side radius. Basically, all I did was take that ridge out. And that's about it. Went over it with a with a burr. Didn't even smooth it out. Didn't sand cloth it. Didn't do anything. You could see the chamber where I had to get rid of that horrendous edge. I didn't do a whole lot on the chamber itself, really. They do, I mean, completely stock. They do a really nice job with the, uh, just like I would where it's radiused into the exhaust seat from the quench. That looks damn good. In fact, it almost it almost looks like, you know, maybe somebody got ahead of, a hold of one of Charlie's uh, <laughs> boarded LS3s, which is possible. Okay. Now, just a basic cleanup, really. Take all the nonsense off. I did not make anything bigger. In fact, it's, I doubt you gained a single CC on either one of these ports. Well, maybe just from that ridge of junk. But this got basically remove that ridge and flow it. Let's see where we came out. Okay. So on this, this is stock. This is Charlie.
okay? This is exhaust stock. This is exhaust Charlie. And remember, there it's just a cleanup, okay? Uh, you can take a look at the far right. All pluses, all the way down on both sides. Notice on the intake, we go from, like at 600, you go from 260.4 to 337.5. That's almost 80 CFM. Okay, it got a huge pickup. Take a look at 300. You went from 188.6 which pretty much stinks with a valve that big, to 219 and change, which is much more in line of what you should have with a nice big valve like that. The exhaust is nothing really special. 211 with that size valve, that's, you know, it's fair. It's, no, it's nothing great. But what is the high and low of this head? At the very least, to a cleanup on it. <laughs> You know, you can get some decent power out of, if you're running a 550 lift cam, that'll be three over 300 CFM. You'll be able to make some power with that, no doubt. I mean, if you know what you're doing, you can make a lot of power with it. All right, the top of the head. It seems like it's machined quite well. I don't see any major issues with it. The spring perches are kind of small in diameter. Now, I am not the LS3 expert. I'm not sure what um, what springs you guys are running on. I'm probably a small beehive, I would think. Because you've got lightweight, you know, lightweight valve train on this. You don't need a massive, monstrous spring like I'm used to using. Overall, it really doesn't look bad. I mean, yeah, it needs some cleanup. This is the exhaust. I didn't even touch the floor on the one I we looked at. Didn't touch the floor at all. It was fine. So I just gave it a quick, literally a quick cleanup. Phone is not focusing worth a damn today. Oh well. It's Sunday, so I think I'm going to quit early. Thanks, guys. Hit 700 subs today, which is absolutely awesome. I appreciate you guys hanging in there and watching my stuff. Uh, if you guys got any requests, hit me up with it. And uh, have a good night. Thanks. <laughs>